Back at Franklin Field, it's second and one for Dartmouth. Williams out of the gun. To his left is Pierre. Three wide receivers all the way to the near side. Williams now looks to his sideline and will get the call from his offensive coordinator, Keith Clark. Williams with a long snap count here at the line, standing at the five on the read option. We'll hand it off to Pierre, and he is into the end zone for the touchdown. Dartmouth strikes first here in Philadelphia. Just another simple read option right there. You need one yard. You know Dominic Pierre is going to be able to get that for you if you're Dartmouth. It's Pierre's fifth touchdown of the season, and on for the extra point for Dartmouth will be Riley Lyons. Kepley will hold the long snapper is Graydon Peterson. Here's the extra point by line. Spotty kick up and the kick is good. Timeout on the field with the score. Dartmouth 7, Penn 0, 10-06 remaining in the first quarter from Philadelphia. Third and goal from the four-yard line. Cam Countryman checking in the game for the first time this afternoon. The same with Connor Scott and Ty Taylor. Third and goal from the four. We're going. Out of the gun. Behind him is Colsar. Now Colsar will go in motion from left to right at the line of scrimmage. We're going. Rolls right looking for Colsar. Now still looking. Pressure coming throws deep in the end zone. And the pass is caught for a touchdown. It is Ty Taylor and Penn get six points on the board. Great vision by Ragone there to see his receiver in the back of the end zone as he's rolling to his right. Ty Taylor's second touchdown of the season. And Connor Loftus will come on to tie this game with 5-12 to go. And this really changes the momentum of the game right here. Dartmouth, after the interception and quick score, you're thinking that they could maybe blow this game wide open if they stop Penn again. But Penn getting on the board to tie this game back up. Connor Loftus, 3 of 4 on extra point opportunities, had one miss last weekend at Villanova. Kick is spotted, kick is up, and the kick is good. Timeout on the field with the score, Penn 7, Dartmouth 7, 5-12 remaining in the first quarter from Franklin Field. Now it's third and 15 from the 16-yard line, 7-7 seven, seven score, 6-32 remaining in the second quarter. Back goes Williams, pressure coming, hit as he throws, and the ball's picked up by Park. He's at the 25-30, rim the run at the 40, across midfield, nobody's going to catch him, he's at the 30. Now we'll jog at the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Quakers. The ball officially at the 11-yard line, so still an opportunity to get a first down at the 1 for Dartmouth. Down a touchdown with 9.36 remaining in the third quarter. Williams out of the gun to his left, Pierre. Three wide receiver set. Williams off his back, but throws in the end zone. The catch is made by Dean Banks for the touchdown. He got right past Jeskowski. And Dartmouth, just an extra point away of tying this ball game up. Great throw by Williams, thrown into where only his receiver can get to it. He sees Jeskowski in the middle of the field all alone. He's not going to be able to make that coverage on his tight end. Riley Lyons set for the extra point, already has won this afternoon. And this drive all set up by an interception of Ragone. You think Ragone's got to play better than this if Penn wants to win this ball game? Extra point spotted by Kepley. The kick is through. Timeout on the field with the score. Penn 14, Dartmouth 14, 9 26 remaining in the third quarter. Third and two from the eighth, 14 all here at Franklin Field. Ellis Buru to the left of Ragone. Ragone rolls to that left side, looking to pass at around the 15. Will start to run at the 10, at the 5, lowers his shoulder and out of bounds to the three-yard line. Well, that time Ragone was not afraid of the contact. We saw before he looked a little tentative, but in the red zone, you can tell he smells the end zone. He wants to get in there. Vernon Harris was there for the stop, the cornerback. Out of Fort Lauderdale for Dartmouth. It will be first and goal for Penn at the Dartmouth three-yard line. Ellis Buru is in the backfield. He gets the first carry here. Bounces to the five. Turns the corner into the end zone. Touchdown, Quakers. It's a good hard-nosed run right there. Get the ball across that goal line is all you need to do. 
the sophomore Ellis Guru checks into the ball game for the injured Colavita and strikes for Penn. About to go up a touchdown on Dartmouth here in the third quarter. And that was a nice long drive, exactly when you see, want to see if you're Val Ragnoli taking your time with that ball down the field, eating up that clock. So Dalen Williams is still on the sidelines. Connor Loftus is on for the extra point for the Penn Quakers. Up 20 to 14. Kick is spotted up and good. Make it 21-14 in favor of Penn at home against Dartmouth. 137 remaining in the third quarter. Back for more. Clock will continue to roll. 11-10 remaining in the ball game. We're at the fourth quarter at Franklin Field with Dan Pelber. Dave Leno, great to have you with us for today's Ivy League opener. 21-14 in favor of Penn. Dartmouth with the football. Third and one from the 40. Williams will hand it off the pier. Runs up the middle. Has room to run across midfield at the 40. 35, 30, 20. One man to beat. And Jackson at the five. And Jackson trips him up from behind at the two-yard line. And that's what happens on third and short. You bring eight guys into the box. All Diamond Pierre has to do is break that first and second level. And he's off to the races. What a hole by this offensive line generated by Sean Ronan and Cole Fowler for this Dartmouth offense. Dartmouth's really going to have to punch it in here. Two yards out, you need a touchdown. You cannot settle for a field goal when you're down seven points. First and goal from the two-yard line for Dartmouth, down by a touchdown, 10.30 to play. This time, Williams goes under center, the single setback. Is Dominic here already one touchdown? It's a play fake. Williams rolls out at the five. He will walk into the end zone for the touchdown. Oh, that's an excellently designed play by Buddy Stevens. He knows that Penn's looking for Dalen Williams or Pierre up the middle, so he play action fakes and has Dalen Williams roll out to the right. That's a great design play. No one even close to him walks right into the end zone. It's Williams' second TD rush of the season, and Dartmouth is one extra point away of locking up this game at 21 with 10-18 remaining in the fourth quarter. You know, Dave, I think we're seeing that one possession game that we've everyone's talked about for the past four years. That's exactly right. Last year, it was Penn who took control, but Dartmouth threatening as they put that one through, courtesy of Riley Lions. Time out on the field with the score. Penn 21, Dartmouth 21, 10-18 remaining in the fourth quarter. Just four seconds remaining in the contest. 21 all between Penn and Dartmouth. Riley Lyons, the junior kicker for Dartmouth, on for the 21-yard attempt. Ball spotted the left hash. This is unbelievable. You can never draw up something like this. My goodness. Did that line come up huge as David Park comes up huge for Penn with the block? And this is just an unbelievable series of events that this game has been. It's, it's only fitting that we go to overtime. Wow. David Park, the senior out of Buford, Georgia, comes up huge and at 21 all as time expires. Regulation complete. We go to overtime. Fourth down here for Dartmouth. Here comes Riley Lyons, who a few minutes ago had his game-winning field goal blocked. Here's another crack at it. 34-yard attempt for Riley Lyons. Spotted, right hash, kick spotted, up, and the kick is no good! He missed it wide left! Riley Lyons has been unsuccessful not once but twice in the tail moments of this contest. And this is the most interesting series of events you can ever see in a football game. From the block kick at the end of the game to this pretty much chip shot here for, to win the game by Lyons. Penn, again, has another life. You wouldn't think that they would, but they got another life to live in the second overtime. Lions now one of five on the season. Topsy-turvy action. The pressure was weighted on his shoulders. So now started the second overtime. Williams for Dartmouth will get the ball. Hands it off to Pierre. Running at the 25-yard line. Gets to maybe the 24. Just a meager one-yard run. Tackled by Jeskowski at Penn. We'll see how Dartmouth responds here. I'm sure Dalen Williams is very disheartened after that missed field goal. We'll see if they want to try and punch it in here and not leave it up to Lions again. We are knotted at 21 apiece in this second overtime. 
Williams out of the gun to his left is Pierre. Three wide receivers on the play for Dartmouth. He's back. Three steps. Looks right side. Now floats it deep in the middle of the end zone, and it's incomplete. Looking for Schoenthaler, but stride for stride with him was Dan Will. And Schoenthaler had a step on look right there. William just overthrew that ball, and that was six points if Williams puts that ball in the money. Yeah, it just seemed to be a simple post pattern there for Schoenthaler. And now third down, try 39 officially for the 24 for Jalen Williams and Dartmouth. Showing for seven receptions, good for 53 yards today. Four wide receivers on the play now for Dartmouth. On third and nine, Williams goes back, throws off his back foot to Pierre. He's at the 25, Ruger run at the 20, 15, lowers his shoulder. And right around the 14-yard line as David Park was there for the stop. And it's a first down for the Big Green. And just like we talked about with Penn giving the ball to Ragone being their best player, Dartmouth wants to put the ball in the hands of Dominic Pierre being their best receiver in open space, being even, even though he's a running back. So get, get him the ball on the flat with a few blockers in front of him. He'll be able to make something happen. Connaughton comes in for Wagner on defense on that big line for Penn. First and 10 for the 12-yard line for Williams. And the second overtime takes the high snap above his helmet. Has plenty of time. Stays in the pocket. Throws in the end zone. Touchdown, Dartmouth. Showing Fuller. And another example of the Dartmouth O-line holding strong, giving Williams all day to throw. Just beat Dan Wilk in coverage and comes up with a simple crossing pattern. Ends in a TD. And here comes Riley Lyons again. Now this is important. This this could be an adventure because Riley Lyons must have his confidence shaken right here. And this could be an important extra point. Holder is Kepley. Kick spotted and this time Lyons handles it no problem. 28-21, Dartmouth with a touchdown advantage over Penn. Can the Quakers answer on their offensive series in the second overtime? We'll see. Back out to the 27-yard line. Third and 12 upcoming. So if you're Penn, you got two plays again to get to that first down marker at the 15. Yeah, you know, it's an interesting situation because Penn gets a play back even though they get moved back in the field. If I'm Al Bagnoli, I don't necessarily hate that. In motion is Colsar moving to his left, empty backfield for Ragone, rolls left side, the full way, pressure coming, steps up, he's at the 30-yard line, we're going to run, 25-20, 15, one man to beat at the 10, one pass, Wagner, into the end zone, touchdown, Penn! Ragone, the fifth-year senior, wonders at the tail end of this contest! There was no one on the right side of the field for Dartmouth, wide open for Ragone to take, he had one man to beat, give him a little shake, into the end zone. And now the game lies in Connor Loftus's right shoe to tie it up and force a third overtime. Almost three hours and 30 minutes have gone by this afternoon. Loftus in for the extra point. He has only missed one this year. Came last week to the Villanova spot. A kick up and the kick is good. We go to a third overtime here at Franklin Field, knotted up at 28 apiece between Penn and Dartmouth. Back for more after this. Out of the Penn timeout, trying to ice the Dartmouth place kicker, Riley Lyons. Everybody's back onto the field. Ball spotted in between the hashes. 40-yard attempt for Lyons, who has missed two field goals today for the tie in the force of fourth overtime. Spotted, kick on the way, and the kick is good. It falls just inside the left upright, and we're going to an unprecedented fourth overtime in Philadelphia. Locked up at 31 in the fourth overtime. Four wide receivers on the play. Williams takes the snap. He's back on three steps. Has time. Now pressure comes. He evades one man, and he goes down. A sack in the backfield by Penn's Tyler Drake. Another example of a sophomore quarterback trying to do too much. Dylan Williams tried to spin out of that tackle, but gets brought and taken down. And now it's going to be a long field goal for Lions. Here we go again. The Riley Lions story. Fourth overtime locked up at 31 apiece. A 42-yard attempt, ball spotted on the left hash. Kick spotted from 42 yards. The kick is no good again. This is wide left third opportunity missed by Lions, the place kicker for Dart.
Hartman. And you got to feel for Riley Lyons right now. He had multiple chances to win this game, and that could have been the, the backbreaker right there. So Penn's going to get the football. All you need is a field goal to win it if you're the Penn Quakers to improve to 2-1. and one. Ragone goes under center once more. Third and five from the 20-yard line. Hands it off to Wilcox. Runs right side to the 20. Bounces out to the 15, 10, 5. Kyle Wilcox. Right by line. Touchdown. Beats Troy's out of here to the corner of the end zone. And the Penn Quakers in the fourth overtime win it in dramatic fashion over Dartmouth. There was no way to know how this game was going to end, but that was a great run by Wilcox to the outside. Everyone was thinking they were just going to settle for that field goal, but Wilcox taking it in really just this, the last the last punch to Dartmouth that they couldn't handle. First touchdown of the season for Kyle Wilcox. And after four overtimes from Franklin Field, Penn wins it 37-31 to 31 over Dartmouth. The fifth consecutive year this game has come down to the final possession.